back in second place. Oh. His brother Paul also up into fourth position. Alex Rins pretty slow to get to his feet there. Well, the second by Fabio Quadraro, and then he got clattered from behind. Okay, let's try and find a Agro currently sitting in third position. Quattararo has already pulled out three tenths of a second so far on this lap. This is dream ticket. The only hope now for the chasing pack is Fabio Quattararo has some major, major grip problems in the last sort of five, six, seven laps, which can happen. And that is a possibility for a game. Alexis Spargo. Spargo just said he's fastest up in the Grand Prix, but it's still nowhere near the hot pace being set by Quattararo. This is a really good battle here between Mir and Marini. That's involving, well, fifth place. Bastianini trying to come back through the way the pack as well. From this is the battle involving the two factory KTMs of Brad Binder, who is now past Paul Spargo. And Paul Spargo is going backwards, look. He's now being eased aside by Miguel Oliveira as well. And Fabio Di Gian Antonio looks like he's lining up to make a move on Paul Spargo. So a disastrous start to the Grand Prix for Honda. He's only getting worse. Here's Maverick Vinales then, trying to find a way through on an air bash GD. That's going to be a tough, complete class of his own at the moment. He's still 2.2 seconds clear. He's gained another tenth on Martin in sector two. It's been a poor day already for the factory Ducati team, of course, with Pekka Banyai out of this Grand Prix. While well, their sole remaining contender, Jack Miller, is not having a good afternoon. He's down in 16th position at the moment, so something clearly happened. That soft rear tyre will Vinales start using up here to keep himself in this top ten battle. It's been an excellent ride, this by Juan Mir. Yes, he's been a little bit fortunate not to have to worry about getting to on the likes of Alex Rins, his teammate. Alessio Spargo has got a real big conundrum here because he just cannot find a way through, can he? On Jorge Martin, the Ducati's horsepower vamp is down the main straight and then of course you can't just get close enough because Alessio Spargo knows if he gets too close, that front tyre temperature, that front tyre pressure will just go through the roof. It was a problem he's encountered in a couple of races, Jerez and the Mon recently. So he's got to pick his moment, he's got to be super precise here. And at the moment, Jorge Martin is just running the, the perfect race out of the weekend so far. It's hot and humid, it's got a Southeast Asian feel here in the Saxon ring as we pick up the shoulder cam with Fabio Quattararo. He's shouldering the responsibility to defend his crown and defend honour for Yamaha in 2022 with Andrea De Vizioso and Frankie Morbidelli absolutely nowhere. A check on Morbidelli again, he's down in 14th place. He's just taken De Vizioso actually for that 14th spot. They are losing a second a lap to Quattararo. Quattararo on this lap 15. Quattararo. Quattararo on this lap 15. 15 seconds clear of Morbidelli and De Vizioso. He's in a class of his own on that M1. We're on board with Jack Miller in fifth position, who, don't forget, is recovering from that long lap penalty that he served earlier on in the Grand Prix. Ironically, for crashing in a yellow flag zone caused by the rider at the front of his queue, Aleix Spargo, who crashed in pre-practice four into turn 13. And under the yellow flags, Jack Miller had a crash of his own and was receiving a long lap penalty as a result of that. But Miller fighting back and Vinales goes way out wide. That's promoted. Jack Miller is quite a... finally make his move is it too little too late to win his home Grand Prix here in Barcelona what we saw from Alessio Spargo when he was racing Jack Miller and Marc Marquez in Jerez a few weeks ago once he got through he had by far the superior pace he was able to blitz away from the Australian and the Spanish it's all about now his time management has he gone pushing too hard too soon or was he thinking well okay I'm going to try and break away open a gap and then just manage the tyres towards the back end of the race just like he did to survive a late Suzuki onslaught here two years ago. And Ayan Bash GD, he can't believe it. He starts to post mortem there with his crew chief Alberto Giribiola too soon, or was he thinking, well, okay, I'm going to try and break away, open a gap, and then just manage the tyres towards the back end of the race, just like he did to survive a late Suzuki onslaught here two years ago. And Ayan Bash GD, he can't believe it. He starts to post mortem there with uh, his crew chief Alberto Girobiola. They look completely baffled. Bastianini's kind of suggesting there with his body language. Well, I don't think I did anything wrong. Don't really think I was pushing any harder in that turn far than any other lap. But he is down and out. And it's another big, big blow for his world title hopes. No points in Mugello. No points in Barcelona. A tough, tough seven days for Anaya Bastianini. Martin's already really suffering in this Grand Prix. We're only on lap 11 of 24. We're coming up towards what goes on. They're battling for eight at the moment. Just behind them is Alex Marquez, who's having a good afternoon, considering he started stone dead last in this Grand Prix. 25th on the grid. He's up into 10th. Darren Binder next up in 11th. He's having another good afternoon after a great weekend last time out in Mugello. He's ahead of Paul Espargaro, who's plummet down the field continues. He's lapping in the 142s at the moment. 
having faded late on with grip problems. This man, though, has been absolutely superb. From Fabio Quattararo, the world champion, peels through the final corner. Fabio Quattararo wins the MotoGP in 2022. He leads home a French 1-2, takes his 10th second place in the MotoGP World Championship. A top, really a top 10. There's going to be points of Betsecki, Fernandez, Morbidelli, De Vizioso and Gardner. But it's a huge congratulations once again. Thumbs up from Fabio Quattararo. This long race weekend also comes to a close with the end of the MotoGP race. All we can do is to see the race ranking together. See you in a moment for the podium ceremony.